great way to check in with your posture and with your body when you're first coming into doing a little Pilates flow or workout is to start just standing and finding a nice sense of alignment, getting into our breath and rolling up and down through the spine a few times. So we're going to do this now. I'm going to take my position sideways. Arms come down by the sides. I'm just noticing that my toes are facing forwards, knees forwards, hips forwards. A little tuck of the tailbone, stacking the shoulders. The shoulders are back, but in line with the hips. And the breath is going to help me engage into the centre of my body. Deep breath in. Breathing in, exhaling and softening any areas of tension, maybe through the back, the neck, the jaw, particularly the jaw gets really tight. And again. Two more breaths. Just accepting that stillness. the arms up out to the sides, reach them up above, look up at the hands, inhale as the fingertips touch, and then we're going to exhale as the arms separate and come down to the sides as we get taller, that sense of posture kicking in. Inhale, lower the chin to your chest, and then exhale, we roll down through the spine. Soft with your knees. Tummy in, gaze, go as low as you feel comfortable with for this first one. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, draw in the tummy and roll back up through your spine, bone by bone. Plan the arms to draw down to the sides of the body. Let's take the arms up again as we breathe in. And then exhale, bring them down. And as you bring them down, your gaze is forwards and you're nice and tall. Take a breath. Hold the breath as you lower the chin to your chest and then exhale as you work down through your roll down, inhaling at the bottom. Gathering up into the tummy and the ribs and then exhale as you're lifting with the front of your body. The spine is never just hanging unsupported. Inhale, the arms lift. And then exhale, they come down to the sides. Shoulders soft, look straight ahead. Inhale, chin to chest, and then exhaling as you roll. Breath in. Exhale, coming up, and this time we're going to inhale, take the arms straight up in front of you. And we're going to exhale, circle them out to the sides, and as you do so, and they come around, you interlace your fingers on your tailbone. Just feel the hands resting for a moment. Breathe in. And as you exhale, just straighten the arms and open the shoulders. Try not to move the neck or the lower back, so it may not be a big range, you may not fully straighten the arms, and that's fine. Take the arms to the side, breath in, rolling down. Inhale, exhale, roll up. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, circle the arms, interlace the fingers. Inhale, exhale, stretch through the shoulders. One more time, deep breath. Exhale as you roll. Inhale, and exhale as you roll back up. Last time with the lift of the arms, breathing in as you lift the arms. The shoulders don't shrug, but you stretch. Exhale, the arms stretch out to the side. Fingers interlace on the tailbone, breath in. And then as you exhale, you stretch your shoulders again. And then we're going to take the arms to the side. I want you to bring the hands onto your hips and take your right toes forwards, keeping them on their own side of the body, but with the heel lifted. We're just going to take some knee bends with the left leg. We're going to breathe in and exhale. The foot stays flat on the floor. Inhale and here. It will feel wobbly. Spine is tall, as always, keeping that integrity in your posture. And again. And then if you can have a chair or hold on to something, lift that front foot and do four here. Breath in. And 
and inhale and breath in. And we do the same on the other side. Taking the left toes forward, straightening up through the body and inhale and up. And inhale. We're thinking about tracking. We can feel how much the knee might want to turn inwards. So we're just trying to go steadily as we work with that knee bend, keeping it under control. Lifting those front toes up. Again, arms out to the side. Hold it onto something if you wish. Inhale and stand. And inhale and stand. And inhale and stand. Give me one more. And and then from here, bring that foot down. I'm going to turn to face you. We're going to take the arms out into a T-shape. Taking the feet a little bit wider than hip width, we're just going to side bend. The goal is to keep the arms outstretched in a T and to not let them lift and lower and lose that T-shape, okay? So reaching away, a little pelvic tilt, and the chin stays in the center of your chest. So lots of awareness needed here. A mirror is always helpful if you need one. Take a deep breath. And as we exhale, we just bend to the side. Inhale, standing up. And exhale the other way. Inhale up. You get that delicious stretch through the sides of the body. You are trying to avoid rounding your spine, but keeping it nice and tall. Then you'll get a stretch through the sides of the body, which we really need if what we're trying to do is enhance our posture and get a little more upright. We need the sides of the body to lengthen. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last time, keep, keep the shoulders rolling open and then come all the way back. Arms down by the sides. We're going to take three shoulder rolls. Shoulders going forwards and back. Two. And three. And then we're going to go forward for three the other way. Back. Up and forward. One. And two. And three. And then we're going to go forwards with the left shoulder and back. And then forwards with the right shoulder and back. So alternating and feeling perhaps a little more of a massage on the back of the body. And then we're going to reverse, so forwards and back down, forwards and down, forwards and down, forwards and down. One more time. And here, good, rolling those shoulders back a couple more times, giving the arms a little shake, giving the wrists a little shake. Shaking is really good for waking up that nervous system. It can get a little bit passive. So. Shake through the fingers, shake through the wrists, come to stillness and take a deep breath in and exhale. 